Whoa, well, hello, people of Earth, and welcome to another Reactions and Predictions video. I'm a bit, a couple of days late, but you know what, whatever. I don't care. So, we saw Saudi Arabia beat Egypt 2-1, nothing much said. Mami Salah scored, don't really care, both out. Uruguay smashed Russia 3-0, uh, yeah, um, doesn't matter. <laughs> they were both through anyway. Iran won, Portugal won, well, um... Portugal are a bit of an ugly team, let's just say, put it that way. And then they conceded a penalty. <laughs> Spain, Morocco. Spain were lucky to not lose the game. And Morocco were very unlucky to not make it out of this group. They are probably the most they are probably the unluckiest team of the World Cup. At all. Australia nil Peru two. Didn't watch it, so you know. I really wanted the um, Socceroos to win that game, but it wasn't meant to be. Denmark nil, France nil. Well, France played the um, reserve team, I think. And well, I didn't watch the game, so I don't know what comments to put on. Nigeria won, Argentina two. Argentina were quite poor in that game, even though they did win. Moments from Messi, who else? And Marcus Rojo. Um, weirdly, with a volley. A strikers-esque volley. Iceland won, Croatia 2. Um, I just went on to another game. Um, Croatia won. They are looking very strong, let's just put it that way. Possibly. Mexico nil, Sweden 3. Watch the highlights, Sweden were absolutely outclassed them. But Mexico were already through, so I don't think they were trying to be at their best. They were trying to save some energy to hopefully beat off Brazil. South Korea 2, Germany 0. Well, well then. That means the holders are knocked out. Germany got knocked out at the group stage. How about that? Five of the past six World Cups, I think the holders have been knocked out. France 2002. Um, Italy 2010, who also got knocked out in the 2014 group stage and didn't make it to 2018, so they really didn't recover from winning the World Cup. Uh, and obviously Spain got knocked out in the t 2014 group stage, and Germany this year. Ha, ha, ha. They deserve that. That's why you should have taken Sane. Ha, ha. And Goethe, because he did win the World Cup for them. Switzerland 2, Costa Rica 2. Switzerland did what they needed to go through. Nothing much more to be said. Serbia 0, Brazil 2. Serbia tried, but Brazil were too strong. Senegal 0, Colombia 1. And Poland 1, Japan 0. Well, Japan better be embarrassed losing to Poland because they were poor in this World Cup. They are World Cup bottlers. They are World Cup chokers. They just choke. Man. And, well, fair play for Japan to get for, to getting through. Haha, -ha, literally, because that's how they got through. Ah, poor Senegal. Imagine going out because of yellow cards. That would be a killer. England nil, Belgium won. Both played... It was a reserve game, so tch, nobody really cared. But we got the easier side of the draw. As I say, easier considering this stupid World Cup. Panama 1, Tunisia 2. No one really cares, and well, well then. Germany going out at the group stage. Big shock. Yep, two late goals. But anyway, <sighs> it's at the round of 16, France 4, Argentina 3, very, very good game, very interesting, Mbappe, he is the real deal, he really is the real deal, and well, although he's already at PSG, technically, kind of. If they can't get the money to be able to keep him because of fair play and they have to cancel his loan deal, 
then teams will become knocking on the door for him. Uruguay 2, Portugal 1. Well, no surprise for me. Portugal are a bit of an ugly team. The way they play. And Uruguay are very strong in defence and attack. Just ignore the midfield. But, you know, it's alright as well. It must be, considering how they're playing. They've won every game so far. And, well, I'm going to stick to the fact that I think Uruguay will reach the final. Spain won, Russia won, Russia win 4-3 on penalties. Well, well, well. Another big, big team getting knocked out at the World Cup. Another big, big shock. But it was on penalties. But I did call it. I did call the fact that Russia were going to knock Spain out on penalties. Because looking at the way Spain got through, they did not look convincing enough. They were just not convincing enough. Sure, they, they drew against Portugal. It was a very good game. They just about managed to beat Iran. Wasn't convincing win. Nowhere near convincing. Some would say they didn't even deserve it. But, yeah. And they definitely did not deserve... They deserved a loss against Morocco. Because Morocco were all over them in that match. They were so by far the better team. And Croatia won. Denmark won. Croatia were won. 3-2 on penalties. And let's just say, Pete Kasper Schmeichel was very good in this match. That might have just earned him a move away from Leicester. However, probably wouldn't have done. Because Leicester will put something like 90 million and people will be like, you got fuck off. Brazil versus Mexico later today. I'm going to predict Brazil 1, Mexico 2. Big shock. Belgium versus Japan. I'm going to predict Belgium 2, Japan 0. The reason for Mexico winning, I think they will be up to their best. And when they are at their best, they are capable of beating anyone as they showed when they beat Germany. This is why I think they're going to beat Brazil. And Belgium are just too good for Japan. Japan only got through by yellow cards. Ah, poor Senegal. I wanted them to go through. Sweden versus Switzerland. Pfft. You're asking me to call a game like this? God knows. I think it is going to be a 2 all draw after extra time. And... I don't know. It's going to be a random guess at Switzerland going through on penalties. <laughs> then Columbia versus England. England are going to win 2-1. Football's coming home. <laughs> and, well, and the next game's on Friday. So, um, Friday morning or Thursday, or oh, one of the days, when football's not hard. I'll see you then. And remember, please do remember, football is coming home. Believe it, England guy, English people. Believe it. We must believe that football is coming home. I hope football was to come home. I would love football to come home. That it would just be brilliant. It would be a great excuse to um, get pissed as well. So, yay. Let's hope it. I'm hoping. Really hoping football comes home. Because football is coming home. Okay, goodbye.